Ja. Hello, my name is Larry Martin and I'm a Solutions Consultant with Beyond 20. Today I want to show you a way that you can begin to use ShareWell to help uh, track the total cost of providing IT services to your clients. Now, we've had a webinar recently where we uh, started talking about the cost of IT services and I thought, you know, there are a couple of different ways that you can utilize the tool uh, ShareWell to help you do that. Uh, some of those ways might be adding costing to your technicians, tracking time against tasks or incidents, etc. So today I want to show you how you can use uh, tasks to help track that. And we're going to expand upon the out-of-the-box where inside of ShareWell out-of-the-box you simply have task tracking where you can track time but that's not necessarily as detailed as you may like. Uh, for example, a ticket may come in or an incident may come in related to the desktop service, if that happens to be one of your services. But as part of that, you may have tasks that go over to your Active Directory team, um, over to different teams that may or may not actually be um, a part of that service but they need to be able to bill against that service or you need to report on them billing on that service. So let me show you what I've done here. Uh, this is just a demo base example so that you can uh, expand upon it. Um, so let's just take an incident, any old incident. <clears throat> and so we have this incident for network printer. Now what I've done is I've taken tasks We'll go ahead and create a new one so you can see. And I have added different work types. And in this case, I said, you know, leave the defaults, but I'm going to add service one, service two, and service three. Uh, that could be account management, that could be printing service, uh, whatever that may be. You could also elect to change this, and instead of coming from the task type table, you could actually have it go against your service catalog, so each task could be. Uh, managed against a service, uh, the same as your instance, and you could even expand it to go to a category or subcategory if for some reason you needed to. But in this case, I've added this task, uh, added these types, and I'm just assuming that there are like three major services that I need to track time against. So we're going to call this service one, and my type, I'm going to track my time against service one. Uh, let me take ownership of the task here. And then I'm going to track time. And my time spent, I'm just going to put one hour. And I'm going to acknowledge my ticket and or task and close it. Uh, my completion code is completed. Now, of course, I would have descriptions and completion details. Uh, but I'm just walking through. Now, notice that our track time up on instant has an hour logged against it. Well, let me go ahead and create another task. And this one we're going to track against service 2. So we'll take our type as service 2. We'll take ownership. We're going to track some time. And for service 2, I'm going to track 2 hours. Uh, we own it, so we'll acknowledge it and close it. Again, descriptions and completion details we would fill out. I'm just doing a quick demo here. And now our total instant time is three hours. But if we, I went ahead and added in here, you'll notice that we have time tracked against service one and time tracked against service two because I added fields to the incident object to roll this up to so that from a reporting perspective we could look at the cost of the different services that were involved in providing service or the cost of that service for this particular incident. Now obviously I don't have costing, I have time or effort. Um, eventually we'll show how we can add some costing in here and expand that even further 
to get your total cost of providing this particular service or for this particular incident or request. Uh, let's go ahead and create a couple more uh, tasks real quick. We'll call this one Service 3. We're going to choose Type is Service 3. We'll take Ownership. And we're going to track three hours against this one. Uh, we'll acknowledge, close, and we're completed. Our time went up to six hours. Now, the other thing I've done is I went ahead and modified this one step. So I can say we're going to go back to Service 1. So I'm going to track one more hour against Service 1. What was done, testing. And now we're going to default it to time entry, which is what is out of the box. But I've added a prompt in here so I can pick my Service 1. That way, whether my technicians come down to a task to track their time or use this to track their time, it'll be tracked against that service. If we looked at our view detail date time information, we now see that service one has two hours tracked against it because we have two one hours. So two times one is two. Our service two, we have a single two hour entry and service three, we have a three hour entry. And we can continue creating um, task and tracking time against them or here and it's really it's the time is tracked against that service so how did I make all this happen well in our admin client we're going to create a new blueprint and I've already taken care of this uh, for my purposes but I'm going to show you the components so that you can then decide how you want to expand upon and or use this if you do so on our incident object um, I went ahead and in the time tracking folder, I added three new fields, service one time, service two time, service three time. Now, you're not going to be able to create dynamic fields as easily uh, if you're trying to match it against your service catalog and want it to display here. This is not a requirement. You can obviously run a report that will... Um, step through all of the supporting tasks but I went ahead and created these fields because I was going to have very static services I'm not using my service um, services table or object I'm using records that have a meaning for me so in this case my service one service two service three could be something like um, active directory support Oracle support, um, whatever that might be, because maybe my support uh, doesn't truly align with my services for those where I need to track time or do chargebacks. So anyhow, I created these fields so that whenever I am tracking against those, I can roll that up into the incident object and display the time here in this view detailed date time information. Now on my service one time, two, three field, I have a value to set before save expression and then that expression they each have their own but that expression is basically an aggregate of incident owns tasks total where the task type equals service one so we'll leave this up for just a second what that does is every time the incident saves which running this one step um, to track time will save it when you close a task it'll save it so every time that incident gets saved that recalculates uh, we're not using a calculate um, value but we'll recalculate that time every time it's saved using that expression and that is what allows us to get that test uh, total task time field updated to display here on our track time through this expression now another thing that I did was I modified this uh, one step in our track time task time against incident. In this one step, I went ahead and in the create task uh, step, I added a prompt for the task type, and then that prompt has a default value of time entry, and then I just pulled uh, from a field in table task type table task type field. And that way we can use that one step to also update our track time against this particular record. 
the other thing to make this work is inside the rich client I simply went to tools table management task type field and added my three new fields or task types so hopefully this makes some sense and shows you how you can use this to actually start tracking time a little bit differently instead of just against an incident and that incident service now we've got task types that may or may not align with the service but are categorizations that we want to track time spent on. So um, obviously this can be expanded upon in a number of ways uh, ultimately you'd add some reports and or dashboard widgets um, to actually dig into what your cost of providing that service or services truly ends up being over the course of time. I uh, hope you find the video useful. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do produce these videos every week for you. Uh, if you have any questions, you can post them in the channel, send us an email, tweet at us, um, and someone will either respond to that or will produce and or will produce a video for you. Thank you.